Hi. So a lot of people have been making uh, really good suggestions about what to do with our uh, conductive ink. And I'm going to take up those suggestions and make videos of them. But the first one I decided to look at was um, loudspeakers. Now, it's not that I'm interested in loudspeakers per se, I'm afraid, but a loudspeaker is a transducer. It takes the electrical signal and turns it into a mechanical force, and we hear that force as sound. But a lot of transducers and loudspeakers can be reversed. So taking the current and turn it into a force can be changed around, and we can take a mechanical force and turn it into a current. And that's really interesting, because that opens up the possibility of using the ink to harvest energy from the environment, and that I'm really interested in. Now, to start the loudspeaker, all, all I really did was set this up. This has um, a bit of royalty-free music here, going through a 200-watt amplifier and coming out on these two lines. And if I connect those to my painted piece of paper, as I say, this is just a piece of paper with our ink painted on it, then from our previous experiments, we th uh, know that we're getting an inductive field set up here. And that inductive field, if set against a biasing field, should vibrate, and we'll hear it as sound. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a magnet on behind that, start the music, and listen for a signal. Now, it's not a particularly strong signal, I'll give you that. So we could improve the signal by um, upping the power. Or we can make a stronger magnetic field for the thing to bias against. And here I've got some um, ceramic magnets taken from other loudspeakers. And that should give us a much stronger field. And now what I've got are some killer neos. <laughs> These are pretty strong. And we should get even a better signal. <laughs> I just wants to stick to the microphone. So we're getting a stronger and stronger uh, field by applying those magnets. Now that was just a bit of paper vibrating in free air. So what I've done here is I've taken a bit of acrylic, cut a window in it, and then I've attached a piece of um, cellophane to the back, heated the cellophane so it stretches, and then I put two copper tapes here and here and painted out ink on the copper tapes. And that's to ensure an even distribution of the current across the whole surface, and to make sure that it can only vibrate in the window. So this should be even better. So if I connect that up and grab my magnets, and we'll use these magnets, we should get quite a nice signal out of that, actually. That's really quite strong. I can hear it from this side, no problem at all. So holding it so close to the microphone, you should be able to hear that. Anyway, I thought that was super cool because um, obviously we're not using a coil. We're using a flat painted piece of material. That's really kind of very cool. There is one disappointing thing about it, of course, is we're still using those big chunky magnets. So the next step you'd want to do is to try and get rid of those magnets so it is a painted piece of paper only. And that's what the next video is going to be about. Anyway, I, um, I hope you enjoyed that and thank you very much for watching.